Tesla's Gigafactory in China has done a couple of things. One of those is provide Tesla with the ability to manufacture an incredible number of EVs from one factory at lower prices than its direct competitors. In addition, Tesla's role in China has advanced EVs and innovation within the country. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to the channel. To everyone, all you new subscribers, great to have you here. Welcome back to everyone else. Now, Tesla's Gigafactory in China and their presence there has had an important role in advancing EVs and innovation in China. Now, Matt Pressman reports for Clean Technica that Elon Musk has always had a vision for Tesla in the Chinese market. For good reason, he should. I mean, I should add that the Chinese electric car market is by far the biggest car market in the world. According to the Wall Street Journal, the president of China defiantly pledged to make China the world's future innovation and industrial center. Keith, his plan was Elon Musk. The president of China viewed the South African-born entrepreneur as a technology utopian and saw his Tesla company as a spearhead that could make China a power in new energy cars. So what did he do? Well, the president of China essentially rewrote the rule book in terms of allowing foreign companies sole ownership of automotive ventures in China. This meant that Elon could open an electric vehicle factory in Shanghai and still maintain full ownership of the business. Now, as many of you know, China has recently changed their rules to allow all foreign automakers direct ownership of their companies in China. This is gonna open the market up even further to foreign investment into China. That's the idea, right? Now, furthermore, authorities showered Tesla with cheap land, low interest loans, which they've already paid off, and tax incentives, expecting a return that Tesla would groom local suppliers and bolster lagging Chinese electric vehicle players, say people with knowledge of the talks between Beijing and Tesla. Now, obviously, as you probably know by now, pretty much everything that goes into a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y that's built in China comes from suppliers in China. One example, CATL now owns a factory just down the road from China, which will probably eventually become one of the world's biggest battery factories, which supplies Tesla with batteries. Now it's reported that Chinese leaders had grown frustrated with domestic electric vehicle companies performance and saw Tesla as an opportunity to reset the country's auto industry. In other words, to make them compete with the industry leader. In turn, Tesla's arrival whetted people's interest in electric vehicles. You can see that in China, electric vehicles have just gone crazy over the last 12 months. The 2019 launch of the made in China Tesla Model 3 helped convince consumers that EVs were a viable alternative to gas cars. Now, around 20% of the entire automotive market over the last couple of months in China has been electric cars. China's game is not to let Tesla win though, said Bill Russo, founder of Automobility, a Shanghai-based consulting firm. China's game is to make the domestic industry compete with them. Now, it's not surprising because Mr. Musk remains personally popular in China where people accustomed to conformity admire his maverick behavior. And Chinese tech entrepreneurs look to him for inspiration, tracking moves of the Silicon Valley Iron Man. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal, today Tesla likely makes more than half of its vehicles in China. This suggests that calculations based on the company's third quarter production and delivery figures and China Passenger Car Association data. Chinese sales helped propel Tesla to its first full year of profitability in 2020 and provided roughly a fourth of Tesla's revenue in the first nine months of 2021. Now that's not all though. The Shanghai plant now is Tesla's main export hub globally, and it helped the company introduce its Model Y to Europe. I mean, consider this. Everyone believes that the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y that come from the Shanghai factory is of better quality than the cars coming out of America. That's a huge change in the industry perception of China as a place to manufacture cars. Now, the factory makes more vehicles than Tesla's plant in Fremont, California, said Elon in October, and it underpinned the company's record global deliveries in the third quarter. Now, meanwhile, local EV automakers, Neo, Xpeng, Liotto, Nita, WM Motor, 
Zika, and many others are thriving since Tesla has arrived. With record sales figures, many of them have posted 300% plus increase in electric car sales over the 12 months. It's just gone crazy in China. Pre-Tesla, nobody believed that a Chinese brand could be riveting, said Michael Dunn, chief executive of consulting firm Zozo Go. Yet Dunn expects overall sales in China of new energy vehicles to be roughly 3.1 million this year alone, more than double last year's. Now, experts are saying that those numbers will double again in 2022 to more than 6 million. That's nearly one-tenth of all car sales globally. And what does that mean for the global automotive market? Well, it means that China is now the most likely country to be ahead in terms of automotive manufacturing in 2030. Now, I thought I should share with you Rainer's comments on this topic. It's very interesting to hear what he had to say. He said, the US and Biden look to General Motors, which just sold 27 EVs in the fourth quarter of this year. It's insane. What a record. Wow. To lead the world in EV production and development. That's what they say, right? That's what Biden and Mary Barrow have said. Now, China looks to Tesla for the same thing. We in the US are like the 300 pound drunk stumbling around the China shop yelling about how he's going to show everyone while China is the calm veteran and highly skilled sniper on the hilltop picking out his targets. The US is full of brilliant individuals, but it has fools on both sides of government. Is this true? Do you agree? Is the US government part of the problem for the United States automotive industry? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the channel. I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.